Hello everyone welcome back to my channel programming with a purpose in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can calculate the depth estimation of an image so what depth estimation exactly is it is a problem in which we can uh, determine the uh, depth of each of the object relative to each other inside a 2d image so basically we can use it to remove haze and fog from the foreground inside an image we can improve the focus on the foreground objects and make the background blur I have already created a tutorial of it which is basically uses another model from the core ml uh, website and then it can also help you calculate relative distances from a camera as well as the relative size of each of the object as compared to the others inside your um, image. So these are all uh, some of the uses of depth estimation. Uh, now how we are going to do it we, there is a model that is already trained and is available on the apple developer website i am going to paste the link of that model also in the description box and that is uh, basically fcrn model which is a fully convolutional residual neural network so uh, what is this it is a technical term for a type of neural network which helps in the recognition uh, image recognition and audio classification tasks so you can read about it also i'm going to paste uh, a link about the details of the fcrn uh, in the description box so what we basically do is it is trained on a certain set of data which has ground truth images and it can help us to calculate the depth of the incoming images or whatever the test data we have so what we are going to do is use some of the core ml and vision framework functions to load the model inside our system present the uh, our image under test to this model and it is going to then show us an image which will be the depth estimation of that image so enough of the theory let's move to the coding part so the first step is the downloading of the model from the apple developer website and after the download you can create a new project and then import that model inside your project all of the steps are shown here now this is a very interesting feature that I've shown you in my previous tutorials as well that you can preview the model inside when you click on the model there will be a tab that will appear you can go to the preview tab and here you can add the image and it will show you the output of the image according to the uh, after the application of the model. So it will help you better understand the output of the image how it will look like once the model is applied to it before going to the coding part. So the depth is a grayscale image which has the darker pixels are basically the objects that are far away from the camera and the um, white or the lighter shades of the pixels are basically the objects that are closer to your camera. So this is the depth estimation of the image that I have shown you. So here I'm showing you how you can import the core ML helpers to it, uh, your project and uh, I am going to attach the link in the description box from where you can download all of these functions. This is a very helpful library created by someone on GitHub and these are the functions that are going to provide you additional functionality uh, in addition to all the core ML functions that are already there inside your uh, Swift UI library. So now I am going to do the relevant imports inside my code. So here Swift UI will help us to get access to the UI image, UI kit is necessary to use ML multi array, core ML and vision is basically required for the processing of the image and to apply the relevant model and core graphics is required for the resizing of the image. So these are all of the relevant libraries. After that I am going to create, create a class perform depth estimation and it will be extension of observable object and then we are going to load the model here and get the input and output image inside the variables in the class.
so ml multi array is basically a type of object that will help us to uh, deal with the uh, multi dimensional arrays so our output is a three dimensional array we need to use this ml multi array and it is mostly required for all the image of recognition tasks inside the core ml library so i am creating an extension here which is going to return me the minimum value and the maximum value which will be a part of my array uh, the 3d array that would be output i am going to use this function min max on it to return the minimum and maximum value inside that 3d array and it will be returned by this function Now here I am writing another function that is basically for the resizing of the CG image. Uh, you can skip this function if you want because it can be done directly to the UI image as well. I found a function to resize a UI image as well. But if you are going to go through these steps where you are going to resize the CG image and then convert it into UI image, you need to use this function. So it is basically useless in our case, but it, it is good to develop an understanding of this function since it is a helpful function for all the image processing related functions inside core ml and vision frameworks so here we have created a color space a context the context is empty and once we have created it we are setting some of the its properties like interpolation quality and after that we are going to draw the image on the top of this context and then we are going to return it and the return will be a ui uh, basically a cg image that will be returned after resizing So here I am writing a completion handler for a function that I am going to basically write inside perform depth estimation on image. So this function is vision request did complete and once it's completed we are going to get the results inside an observation variable and then we are going to get its feature value and multi array value which will be returned inside the variable depth. So this depth is a three dimensional image. We are going to get the min max values of it and then we are going to get a CG image with this minimum and maximum value. So basically what we are going to do is uh, 
copy these minimum values to 1 which is basically the dark pixel and the maximum value to 0 which is basically the lighter pixel and after that there is a UI image that will be created from this image uh, that we have created from the depth.cj image and after that it is going to be resized to the original size of the image and put inside the output image variable. So the image that is returned by our um, request of the depth estimation is basically uh, smaller in size as compared to our actual image. So we need to resize it to the dimensions of the actual image so we can compare the depth with the actual image. So the actual function is basically the perform depth estimation on image which will take the input image convert it into CI image and then create a VN core ML request which will then get the input as a model and a completion handler that we have already written and then uh, a certain property image crop and selection option and after that a handler and when the handler is done performing it we are going to get the results inside the vision requested complete. So this is all for this class. And the last very simple step is basically updating the codes inside the content view where I have used a variable input image which is a simple UI image that is read from the assets and an observed object which is the depth estimator that is an object of our class perform depth estimation. Now there is a var body sum view I have created a simple image if the output image is present we are going to display it otherwise an input image is displayed and a button to perform the depth estimation on it is shown with the name of perform depth estimation and uh, when it's pressed depth estimator dot input image is passed and the function perform depth estimation on image is called which is then going to produce the output inside the output image so this is all for the coding Now we are going to build the code and as you can see that I have applied the depth estimation on the car and the car is in the white pixel because it is closer to the camera and the background is turned into shades of grey depending upon its distance from the camera. So it is pretty much a very good estimate of the depth. And then I am using the image that is shown on the Apple developer website for this model which is a room image and there are, you can see that there are two of the tables in the front and the bed which is closer to the image. So it is displayed as a white pixel and the rest of the sceneries and the wall at the back is displayed in the darker shades. So this is all for the depth estimation. I hope you have learned something from the tutorial. Do not forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. I am going to give you some um, further tutorials in which I really want to build models. Uh, like some of the models that are already present i want to show you what are the steps to build those models so that we can use it and that will empower us to use the uh, basically the actual power of machine learning to solve different real life problems so stay tuned and thanks for watching